Hey everyone, it's Matt Orford here. Microsoft have recently released a PowerShell module for Azure Functions. So I wanted to take a quick look at this and go through some of the commandlets and have a look at what we can do with this initial release. I am making an assumption in this video that you're familiar with Azure Functions and Function Apps because we'll be diving straight into it. So in front of me, I've got a PowerShell console. I'm running PowerShell version seven here. And as we can see, let me run get module az list available and we'll see that I don't have any of the command that's installed for AZ yet. So if we then do an install module AZ, it will go and pull down the Azure PowerShell modules and the function module is now included in this. After a couple of minutes, all of the AZ PowerShell modules have now been installed. So if we do a get module again and list them all, we see all of them there. And if I scroll up a little bit, we can see that we've got version 1.0.1 .1 of az.functions there. So let me come down and let's have a look at the commands that are available in that module. So we'll do a get dash command module az functions. So for an initial release, we've got quite a few commandlets here. We can see we've got a collection of get commandlets at the top here. We can create a new function app and a function app plan. We've got some remove commandlets. We've got some controls here to start, stop and restart the function app. And we've got some commandlets here to update the function app, the app plan and the app setting. Let me connect into my Azure account and we'll go ahead and deploy a function app and take a look at changing some of the settings. So I'll start with a connect.az account and I just need to use this to log in. And I'll clear the screen and let me do a get az function app there and I'll show that I don't currently have any function apps deployed within this subscription. So one of the available commandlets was to do a get az function app available location and I want to do a consumption plan type here and I want to run it on Windows. So I just want to see what locations are available for me to deploy this in. As we can see there, there's quite a number of regions where I can go and deploy my function app. Next up, I'm going to define some variables just to save me having to reuse the names here. So I'm going to create a resource group name called POSH Func Demo for PowerShell Function Demo. The function app name, I'm going to give MA for Matt Orford Function App 01. For the location, I'm going to put all of my resources in Australia East. And for function apps, we do need a storage account as well. So I'm creating a new storage account named Posh Funk Demo STG01. So I've just defined all of those variables. Now I'm going to create a resource group and the storage account because those are prerequisites for our function app. So I'm just going to run a new dash AZ resource group to create the resource group and new dash AZ storage account to deploy the storage account that we need. Excellent, those are done. So now I know I need to use the new dash az function app commandlet. Let me just do a get help on new az function app. And if I scroll up a little bit here, we can see in the syntax that we've got some required parameters that we need to fill out here. So we need a resource group name, we need a name for the function app, a storage account name, a location and a runtime. Those are the mandatory parameters. Everything else here is optional. So if I scroll back down and I'll run new dash az function app, and I'm going to use the variables that I defined before for the function app name, the resource group name, the location, the storage account name, and for the runtime, we're going to do a PowerShell function app. So I'll run that. Now we see here that some of the parameters I didn't define, and so there's some defaults. So the version of the function app has devolted to version three. The operating system type is Windows, and we haven't specified a runtime, so that's defaulted to PowerShell version 6.2. And the deployment of our function app is complete. We can see there that the status is running. And if I up arrow and go back to my get-az function app, we'll see that as expected, it now returns the function app that we've just deployed. And if I format that to list, format dash list, we'll see all of the properties that are here available on that get commandlet. And we can see we can observe quite a lot of properties about the function app itself. So let's go back down and we'll have a look at some of the other commandlets that are available. So one of those being to get the function app settings. So I'm going to get the function app and pipe that across to function app settings. And these are the default function app settings that are created when we provision. So we can see we've got things here like the extension version and the worker runtime. Now, if I wanted to create a new function app setting, I can do that by running update-az function app setting. I need to specify the name for the function app and I'll use that variable from before and the same with the resource group name. Now with the app setting here, we need to specify a name value pair. 
and it's not formatted too well for me on screen there. But my name is new app setting and the value that I'm giving that is just value one, two, three, nothing too exciting. So if I run that, that will go and create the function app setting for me. And we can see here that our new app setting is defined with the value that we've put in. Now, if I did want to actually change that value, instead of creating a new one, I can just update the value here. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five for the value. And we can see as expected, the value has just been updated. It hasn't gone and created a new app setting for me. So if we take a look at some of the other commandlets, we can do a stop dash AZ function app to actually stop. And we'll get prompted for that because it is obviously going to be disruptive to our function app. I can use start dash AZ function app to start it up again. And we can also orchestrate a restart of the function app using restart dash AZ function app. And for this one as well, we will get prompted because it is disruptive. There's a commandlet available called update dash AZ function app. And we can use this to update some of the core settings of the function app that have been deployed. So in this example, I'm going to update our function app and I'm going to set the identity type as system assigned. So this is if you wanted to configure a managed identity on your function app. This is how we do this from the PowerShell module. And if I was to now do a get function app and format list and just look for any properties with ident in their name for identity, we can see that we've got the identity principal ID specified there now that we've configured the managed ID. Finally, I can remove the function app by running remove dash AZ function app. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting our only function app and just piping that across to the remove command. And of course, on this one as well, we will get prompted because this is going to delete the function app. So just to wrap up, if we have another look at the commandlets that are available here, we did take a look at a number of these, but as you can see, I think that's a pretty good initial release from Microsoft to allow us to manage the function apps. If you wanted to dive a little bit deeper into any of these commandlets, there is of course help. So you can just run get help and the name of the commandlet. So if we wanted to have a look at the help for update AZ function app, we can do that. I'm sure this will get built out more over time, but we've got all of the parameters that we need here. And we can of course have a look at some of the examples that Microsoft have gone and provided us. And if you wanted to look at the full help, you can do that with using dash full. So it is important to remember this is a version one release of the module, but I think they've done a great job at giving us another tool in our tool set to deploy and manage function apps. Thanks very much for watching.